We are waiting in line for Gideon's cookies and cake. But if you know, you know. You get online. Yeah, I hope it's good. We'll let you know. Looks like they're out. I bet you they're out. Okay, guys, so let's talk about Gideon's Bake Shop, whether it's worth all the hype or whether it's not worth all the hype. Uh, first off, we had three cookies, right? Mm -hmm. We had the original chocolate chip, yes. which I liked. It was good. Um, I wanted the banana bread cookie but they were all out yes and you got the pistachio the pistachio toffee right and then finally the chocolate chocolate chip chocolate chip and then we had um two two cakes right yes we had a chocolate three layer cake and then we had the macadamia white chocolate cake right so um with each season um they have cakes and i think maybe every day they have different yeah. yeah they switch out cakes and they have different, different things different that you can try and things like with that. the seasons yeah. um so the season that we went in was fall and um, they didn't have other cookies that we wanted to try, so we're just going to have to go back. Right. So let's talk about whether it's worth the hype waiting on that long line. For the cookies, yes. yes. Cookies were delicious. Mm. Really, really good. The cakes, I'm going to give it a 50-50. It was okay. It wasn't bad by no. any means, but to wait on that long line for the cake, I probably would not have done it. But I will go back for the cookies. Yeah, so for me, the cookies were good. So they were not too crunchy and they were not too soft. I don't like a soft, soft cookie um, that's doughy. So it was kind of in between, which was nice because there's so much filling in it. I mean, more chips and nuts yeah. than you can count. Um, the cakes for me were a little dense. There were a little um, more along the lines of like a pound cake mm -hmm. kind of capacity. Right. Um, tendency so very thick very thick yeah. uh, i like a fluffier type cake the chocolate cake was a little bit lighter um in texture than i think the macadamia one was mm -hmm. um, but the slices are huge so um two people could easily share one slice of cake maybe three people mm -hmm. it was really big cookies are a nice size too yeah. um but they're not cheap no no well it's disney everything's going to be true a little bit higher true all so. right so that's our follow-up to Gideon's. So we both give it a thumbs up, right? At least, so, I, yeah. yeah. So, Cap, we give it a thumbs up. I would definitely wait in line. Yep. Again. We enjoy the cookies. Yep. Um, we're going back soon, and I'm going to go back and get in about more another cookies. month. I think we're, we're headed back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So now, come on over with us to uh, where we go next. The hangar bar, right? Yeah. 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 Time yeah. to get the drink on. Yeah. So we went over to the hangar bar. So uh, we'll show you that. Let's check that out real quick. All right, so we're back. Now we're going to talk about, well, we showed you the hangar bar. So we'll talk about what we had a little bit. I pretty much just had a beer. I think I had a margarita, and it was really good. 
Um, we got a few appetizers because, again, like we said, we're going to Mori Morimoto's for dinner and we didn't want to fill up. So we got the pretzel to share, which is huge, really big pretzel. Um, we got queso dip so we could dip the pretzel. And although it does come with dippers, but we wanted the queso. Mm. And our kids were with us, our oldest daughter, Stephanie, and her fiance and our grandson. Mm. And they got um, chicken... On an egg, I think it was called. Something like that. Something like that. Remember. I'll look it up. I'll put it down yeah. there. And I'll sh they enjoyed it. Drop in um, they, they, had a, they had a good time with that. Yeah. So yeah. it was really now, good. Now, the hangar bar is, you don't need reservations. It's kind of first come, first serve. You kind of just walk in the front door. If there's an open seating at the bar or at the table. Uh, they have indoor seating and outdoor seating, mm -hmm. um, as you saw. But it is pretty much first come, first serve. Yeah, we had a cute little round table in the corner. Yeah, yeah there is. Uh, well, you saw. It's a... Looks like a little hanger and you go in there and you sit. So, yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. So, okay. That's something else down at uh, Disney Springs. If you're down there, go ahead and check it out. Get out of the heat a little bit. Right. Have a drink. That's right. So, all right. So, now we're on to dinner. Morimoto's. Morimoto's. Okay. All right. So, we'll see you at Morimoto's. So we ended up with dinner at Morimoto's. It's one of my favorite restaurants down at Disney Springs. Yeah, it's delicious. It really is delicious. I think we've been there three or four times. So this time, and what we normally like to do is get a bunch of appetizers. The meals are great too, but we just love the appetizers. Yeah. So, As you guys saw in the video, we basically got the uh, sticky ribs, mm -hmm. Asian ribs. We got fried rice. Uh, we had, uh, well, our grandson, how you saw, had the chicken fingers. Uh, and we had some sort of noodle uh, dish. So right? I think it was lo mein. Something like that, yeah. I got my dumplings, love dumplings. Oh, the dumplings, yeah. And I had egg rolls. I don't know if you got a shot of my egg rolls. Uh, I don't think I did. Maybe not. Maybe I ate them too quickly. But the most important thing we had was the sake. The sake. The sake, was sake. Delicious. And they have many different types of sake. They also have sushi. So if you're into sushi, they have that as well. Um, our grandson got a really interesting drink called yuzu. 
Hope I'm saying that properly. Um, it was a weird kind of way you had to open the top. Yeah. And um, so he likes to get those. Yeah, and they couldn't figure it out. And when they did figure it out, it kind of fizz. fizzed all over the place. Yeah, so he had to like, you know, do his kid thing and put his mouth on it so it wouldn't fizz all over. Crazy. But we really love Morimoto's. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Um, definitely make a reservation. Definitely. Because it's very hard to get into. They do have a, um, a little, I want to say, fast food area that you can go yes, and do like do. a walk-up line and just get something if you want to eat it outside or they have like a little area you can sit outside but if you want to eat in the restaurant dine in you have to make a reservation very rarely do they have any walk-ups available right. okay so all right well we're gonna wrap this up so uh we'll see you guys in a second all right, guys so Thanks. that's disney springs Disney Springs is a lot to do down there um, from uh, live entertainment. They have a lot of, right? Uh, the shopping. Um, they have the restaurants. Food uh, trucks. Food trucks. Bowling alleys. Bowling alleys. Sports uh, bar. Yeah. I mean, oh, they have the, the Coca-Cola building there? The, yes. Yeah, they have Coca the Coca-Cola so building. The movie tasting, theater. The movie theaters. Yeah. Literally, you can spend the day for, at Disney Springs. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you really can make a day out of it. Without um, having to go into the parks, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so there's a bunch of shopping. Sometimes they have outdoor concerts, like yep. by the band shell. Yep. They have outdoor concerts. So, yep. you know, there's a lot of things to do. Yeah. When we don't want to go into the parks for a day, uh, a lot of times we'll just go down there and spend the whole day down at Disney Springs. Go shopping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Credit card. Cha-ching. <laughs> oh. So, all right. Well, that's it. That wraps it up. Hope you like this little uh, quick tour of uh, Gideon's uh, Bakehouse, uh, the Hangar Bar, and Morimoto's. And we will see you guys next time. Now it's time for us to get to getting. Get to getting. See y'all. See you. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And please ring that bell so you know when new content drops. Well, we have, let's hold on tight.